Hi everyone, this is DJ Ryan J, and I'm here to talk about, uh, this is going to be a two-in-one video actually, we're going to talk a little bit about the microsystem that I've put together that has been inspired by uh, uh, DJ Brian S. Red, um, and I'm also going to talk about these bad boys behind me here, which are the EVZXA1 sub system. The reason I'm going to make these uh, this a combination uh, video is because you kind of can't, in my view, they don't, they, they really go together, it doesn't, I don't think it's worthwhile to separate them too, too much. Uh, and every time I try to take a ma make a video about one, I ended up making a video kind of both, about both of them anyway. So we're going to make it a combined video on purpose this time and see where it goes. So uh, number one, we're going to talk about the microsystem that uh, I've put together here. So my version of Brian S. Red's microsystem is uh, a couple of EVZXA1 subs and these guys here, which are QSC um, K8 systems, or sorry, K8 mid-highs. Uh, and uh, that's the system. I've also got, if you can see over here, these are the poles that I put them on that sit in the subs and, and lift up the speakers. So, um, Brian's system is based on um, RCF 8-inch uh, mid-highs. I chose QSC largely because our, our, um, the RCFs are not readily available in my city. Uh, and the QSCs were, and I thought they sounded great with the subs, so I went with them. They're about the same price. QSCs may be just a little bit more expensive, actually. Um, I can't comment on how they compare to each other because uh, I don't know, but I do know that when I compared the QSC K8s to the um, ZXA mid-highs that go along with the 8-inch the mid-highs that go along with the ZXA1 subs, um, the QSCs absolutely blew them out of the water. Now that said, the QSCs also cost twice the price of those ZXA1 subs, so, or sorry, ZXA uh, mid-highs, so, you know, it's kind of to be expected a little bit. Now that in mind, why did I put together the, the microsystem? Well, I've been DJing for a long time, uh, about 15 years as a mobile DJ in one form or another, and up until very recently, uh, I actually did not own all of my own gear. I had was always borrowing stuff when I went out and did mobile stuff, whether it was from a rental company or from friends, that type of thing. You know, I had turntables or CD players. I had the, the head-end stuff, but I was always lacking in the sound reinforcement. I finally went out and said, no, you know what, I'm going to go buy my own stuff because uh, I'm sick of borrowing from people and I think it's a good investment. Um, I put together the microsystem for a couple of reasons. One, I was really inspired by Brian um, and why it is that he put his together. And the one, I think one of the biggest reasons why Brian put his together the way that he did was because of his physical limitations. I'll link to his channel in the in the description so you can go ahead and, uh, and check it out if you like. I'll link to his video on the microsystem as well. But I don't have those physical limitations. I'm an able-bodied person um, and I'm perfectly capable of loading in large shows and have done uh, many, many times. But the reason that I did this, it was a, it was twofold. One, I find that this configuration of system of the system is significantly more um, uh, versatile than, say, a dual just buying two 15-inch top cabinets. Based on my experience, this is significantly more versatile. Part of it has to do with the type of shows that I do. I mean, yes, I do weddings and I obviously do corporate parties and I do, you know, all kinds of stuff like that, but I find that this provides just a fuller sound range overall. Because it's also discrete systems, I think that it are discrete speakers, generally speaking, it can actually go a little bit louder, it'd be a little bit clearer. You kind of applying that biamp principle or triamp principle actually, uh, in the case of, of this system, because there are two amplifiers, there is an amplifier that's going through a biamp uh, or a crossover inside the inside the K8s. And the I just find that you get a little bit more volume and certainly when you put these subs in there, you get a lot of oomph. And to me, that really, really makes a huge difference in how it sounds and complements on the sound and, and all of that type of thing. Um, the, the, the biggest reason for me, again, is size. I mean, this configuration, what you see behind me, is pretty much the entire rig minus lights. So there's two turntables here, there's a mixer, there's an ancillary case of stuff, I've got a toolbox, the two speakers, the, the two top ends, and then the two subs and the posts over there. I have to bring my computer and a few other things as well, and usually there's a couple of, of bins of, uh, of um, crate or, uh, cables and that type of thing. And I'll have a picture that I'll post of what it looks like in the back of my truck. And because I drive a Nissan X-Trail, that was really important for me to be able to fit this into the back of, of that vehicle. I've discovered, as I've played with it a few times, that it, as I mentioned before, remarkably versatile. It provides a lot of sound, a lot of bang um, in the size. Not necessarily for the buck, because you know there was a few semi-expensive components here, but 
Um, I really decided I wanted to go with something that, that really, really worked. It was small, still worked really, really well. On the topic of the ZXA1 subwoofers, I think these are one of the understated centerpieces of this system. The reason that I, you can get away with doing this system actually comes down to these subs because they do provide such an enormous amount of sub, or sorry, of, of low end reinforcement to the sound. To give you an idea, um, I had these two subs. I brought them in as supplementary uh, subwoofers to a nightclub that I play at from time to time. Um, and I mean, these things you got to keep in mind. They're, they're 12 inch subwoofers, they're a tiny cabinet. And when they, they're stacked on top of each other like this, or if you put them side by side and you do a little bit of uh, alignment, um, they couple very, very nicely. In fact, it's amazing how much sound comes out of these things. We set them up in the nightclub because there was a New Year's Eve show just a little while ago, and we wanted that extra kick. We have always found that in that particular club, the sound quality, especially in the low-end reinforcement, always lacks, especially when you kind of really crank it up. So I put together this, and we brought these two in. I did exactly what you see here. I had these two sitting on top of each other just this way, and they were actually sitting on top of yet another, uh, I believe it was an 18-inch QSC sub. Um, it might have been a Mackie, yeah, I forget offhand. But I put them and I tried to align them so that the drivers were in line with each other so that the sound would couple. And as soon as we turned it up, the um, there wasn't a, still wasn't a lot of people on the floor, but we were starting to get to bar volume as opposed to just background music volume. And, and as soon as we turned it up, the manager came up to us and said, Oh my God, it sounds so much better in here. There's so much bass, like I can feel it in the back of the room. And this is not a small room. So these things were adding a significant amount of sound. In a more traditional setting, or in a more kind of common setting for what a lot of mobile DJs are going to use, again, the reason that you can get away with doing something like these small top ends, like they're, they're eight inch, you know, like this is something that an eight inch monitor like this, or an eight inch top end like this is something that you would put in a studio. You know, not necessarily used for live sound reinforcement, but this system, I can confidently say, can do parties up to 150 people. Now, we have to keep in mind what the aim is in a mobile DJ setting. A mobile DJ setting is to provide good sound, good clean sound, and if you can manage to get away with some good chest thump for the dancing, then that's great because it makes people dance better, in my opinion, anyway. Um, on a on a dance floor that's immediately there. You also want to provide a certain amount of throw to the whole room so people can hear the music, but you don't want to be blowing them out. I mean, you're not intending, it's not supposed to be a nightclub in, in a mobile DJ setting most of the time. Sometimes you set that up, but you wouldn't bring a system like this, or at least I wouldn't. This set of subwoofers allows this system to work, and these are incredibly powerful. I actually had these things sitting next to, one time I took one of these and put it next to uh, JBL 18-inch, uh, the Eon 18-inch powered subwoofer. Um, and I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the exact spec difference. It seems to me that uh, the JBL is slightly more powerful. Uh, it is actually roughly the same price, but it is an 18-inch subwoofer, and so it's bigger. Um, and it has the ability to play lower. And the truth is that this 12-inch subwoofer, in terms of frequency response can't compete with a JBL. The JBL was just simply capable of playing lower. It also played a little bit louder simply because it had a bigger, a bigger amplifier in it. But when this 12 inch subwoofer, in my opinion, was putting out between 85 and 90 percent of the same level of sound as an 18 inch, uh, 18 inch driver, that says something for the engineering in here and just exactly how great this subwoofer is. There's been a lot of, there's probably a lot of videos out there that you can go and take a look and lots of people complimenting and saying this is one of the, it's an amazing product and I 100% agree. This is a fantastic, fantastic subwoofer. I cannot say enough good things about it. Had it out at a show before Christmas, actually several shows before Christmas, and it was unbelievable. It provided so much amazing, nice, warm bass fill. It was perfect for mobile DJing. Um, if you're not a fan of taking it, this, this system is actually roughly the same size. I could go and do some calculations and I made for the video. You might see them down in the description. This system is actually roughly the same size as two 15-inch cabinets, top cabinets on their own. But as I mentioned, to me, is a lot more versatile. I don't have to turn on both subwoofers if I'm in a smaller, a smaller uh, event room. But it also provides the advantage of, because I use the subwoofers as basically the stands for the top cabinets, it's a smaller footprint on the floor uh, than a standard tripod, and that can make a difference in those smaller events. So I use them as that, and yeah, it's heavier than a tripod stand, 
I use them as that, and I find that it provides just a little bit less tripping, people tripping on things around the, the subs or around the stands. Um, it's cleaner, it can hide things. It, there's a really, there's really good advantage to this. The one disadvantage I would say uh, is that if you are a scrim person and you like to put up scrims in front of things, it doesn't really work that well because most scrims are based on the idea of having two feet on the ground as a, in a tripod, and obviously that's not this. So if I was to do a scrim around this, I would have to probably do something fairly custom. Um, I haven't yet, but I may. That said, I cannot say enough good things about this. If you're looking, if you're in the market for a small form factor subwoofer that you want to be able to provide excellent low-end reinforcement to mobile DJs and even some reinforcement in nightclubs. I mean, I, you know, like I said, my experience with this thing in the nightclub was top-notch. Um, you cannot go wrong with these things. Here in Canada, I think they retail for six ninety nine, dollars um, and again, just fantastic. Only one other thing I would mention about these subwoofers is you can see here on the front of mine, there's a scuff mark. The coating on these things is got to be really subpar. I'm not happy with it. It scuffs very easily, um, and I can see myself very likely having to repaint it um, and possibly rubberize it or do something to that effect just to make, give it a little bit more sturdiness. I don't have kit covers for them. I wish I did because it would prevent a lot of the wear and tear, um, and maybe I'll go and buy some. But in my opinion, it's kind of one of those things like I shouldn't have to. They're, they should have a good durable coating on them. It's sticky or grippy rather, um, but just doesn't quite fit the bill. So there you go. This is kind of my review of the microsystem. I'm really, really happy with the way this thing is turned out. ZXA1 subs are absolutely one of the centerpieces of the system um, and really are what make it work. You could do it with one. You could do it with two. Uh, you could do it with f uh, four if you wanted and have stacks on each side. And I mean, that would be enough to do a school gym, in my opinion, if you put some 15-inch tops on it. Just a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic idea. Credit, of course, goes to Brian S. Red for the idea behind the microsystem, um, and it's absolutely wonderful. One last comment I would, I would put on the microsystem in general is that it is a departure from the way that a lot of guys do things. As I mentioned, most people, or some people, uh, would prefer to go the 15-inch cabinet route uh, as a top end, and actually one of these subs I got used uh, at a discount for exactly that reason. Somebody bought it and then returned it and he was a more traditional guy who wanted to go with the 15 inch top cabinets standalone. Um, and that's cool. If that's your thing, then you know, go for it. You're, you, I, I have done that for years and it does work. It's a functional, functional way to do things, but you're not going to get the base out of that system. Um, even something like the QSC K12s, which are, um, they've got that deep setting on them and they provide a lot of thump. There's an amazing amount of thump that comes out of those things. Even these eight inches in the deep setting provides an amazing amount of bass uh, response. You're still not going to get the same out of it as you will with subs. Highly recommend this. If you're in the market for a sub, I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, go check it out. This is DJ Ryan J. Thanks very much for watching.